Let's talk about tasers. Something I can tell you a little bit about firsthand. News on how they're being used these days, how they should be used. And by the way, I'll tell you why I did it, John Stewart. Welcome back, everybody. This is Out in the Open. I'm Rick Sanchez. Back to this panic in Irving, Texas that we've been talking about. This is a very important story for this country. It's part of our national conversation that all of us should be having, whether you're on one side of this debate or the other. Illegal immigrants are on the defensive because they say that Irving police departments are uh, targeting them for removal. Uh, joining me now is somebody who'd be happy with even more aggressive steps being taken around the country. His name is William Gein. He's the president of Americans for Legal Immigration Political Action Committee. He's good enough to join us with a very nice-looking blue shirt. Uh, Mr. Gein, uh, I would imagine that you would say you're all for uh, what the mayor and the police department down there in Irving, Texas is doing, right? Well, I can tell you quite factually, Rick, that well over 80% of America's legal citizens support what Irving, Texas is doing. That comes from multiple national polls including Zogby poll April 2005 right. showing showing over 80 percent of Americans want local police enforcing immigration law which is much much more than what the police in Irving are actually doing but so do you salute. really but but here's the problem that you know I understand that and I certainly understand the polls and I know that the right place to be on this argument is on your side because after all we gotta go after these guys these Mexicans are coming into our country right I've well, heard that I, I, know, I know that argument well, so well all I gotta well, do I is turn on my radio anywhere in America and I'll hear it 50,000 times a day but let me ask you let me ask you this question do we really want local police departments doing what should be a federal uh, responsibility something our government should be doing for us securing our border and making sure we got the right people in this country and not the wrong people rather than some police department taking some little old lady because her her her, her head whoa, whoa, was out. Rick, whoa, whoa, Rick, you keep grabbing these anecdotal guy with the garage and little old lady driving her car. We got a half a million felon illegal aliens that are on the run, mm -hmm. half a million, Rick, that are out there tonight murdering, raping, assaulting, and stealing from Americans that we have to capture these people and get them out. Illegal aliens are the only ones that need to panic right now. Not legal Hispanics, not legal immigrants, not American citizens. Over 80% applaud what Irving and the hundreds of cities and counties are doing. And yes, it is incumbent upon all elected officials on the state and local level to respect the will of the public and the existing laws while the White House has been hijacked by these big corporations that won't open borders. The illegals are on the run. They should get the hint, and there's a solution for them. They don't have to be afraid. Just return home to your nations where you are citizens and your families. Vamos, arriba derchi. Don't let the border gate hit you on the backside on the way out. Take a hint. America wants illegal aliens to go home. You are very expressive. By the way, I would agree with you 100% that anybody who's had a felonious behavior while they're in this country, if they've committed a felony, if they're that kind of individual, who wants them here? I'll tell you who doesn't want them here. Even illegal aliens or immigrants who are living in this country don't want that type of human being. But there are people who've come to this country who've provided a job for themselves, who've taken care care of their families whose children are going to school and we've got to be able to find a process where we decide who stays and who goes what do you want do you want to take tomorrow 12 million people and take them back to wherever they came from just like that no we don't have to do that in the 1930s and 1950s America uh, did deport millions of illegal aliens and what we learned historically and what we're learning today in America is you deport some and many many more leave on their own accord mm -hmm. they're leaving Irving Texas they're leaving Oklahoma, they're leaving Arizona and Georgia and other states that are cracking down. If we deport maybe half a million or a million, another five or six will go on their own accord. And that's the way it has to be, Rick, for very, very important reasons. That is the only way we can turn off the flow of illegal aliens in this country, which is numerically endless. They let me, will let me come ask you, let me and they will you, come until all is ruined. Uh, we're having too good a time and my producers are already yelling at me, but let me just ask you this one question because a lot of economists say, you know what, and we've looked into this, 51% of the people in this country doing drywall, that are doing bricks and doing mortar and doing a lot of the construction work in this country are, in fact, illegal immigrants in this country. They say the economy will basically have a serious problem if you get rid of these people. Do you agree, do you adhere to that uh, principle or that uh, ideology? There will be some pain for unscrupulous employers that have hired illegal aliens. Uh, they will go through some pain and corrections. But as we've seen in the states where the illegals are leaving, Americans will quickly fill those jobs. And the great news is, Rick, wages will rise. What has happened here is large companies have paralyzed our immigration enforcement to make more money by depreciating American wages. And if we start to correct that situation, mm -hmm. wages rise. Uh, we can ensure our better health and safety uh, stuff. But once again, 
The illegal aliens must leave and the existing laws must be enforced or America is going to descend in the type of anarchy that a lot of these people are trying to get away and from. And a lot of it has to do with not the people who are here, but the people who are asking them to come here are looking the other way when they walk through the gates. And on that, you and I, I guarantee, agree. But let's leave it there. William Gein, great argument. Really enjoyed having you on. Hopefully we'll have this conversation again in the future. Enjoyed it. Thank you.